Welcome to On The Record with Chloe B, where I invite celebrities on to tell their truth behind the headlines. You can listen every Monday at 6pm on Apple Podcasts, Spotify and YouTube. So I'm joined this week, you're probably going to be a bit confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure people are going to be going, oh my God, who is here? So I'm joined with Demi and Frankie Sims. Please say hello, girls. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. This, I know this is strange. I know, this is really know. weird. I don't really know who let them in, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just going to ask that. We how did you get paid a lot of money to come on <laughs> <laughs> How did you get in here? Because I'm a bit confused. So I thought it would be really exciting to have yous on, because I'm yeah. sure people are going to be really confused about having yous on here. And obviously, if you don't know about On The Record, it's basically about inviting celebrity guests on to tell the truth behind the headlines. And I thought, what better people to invite on than you two? Because obviously, in the whole time I've known you which is probably like three four years now there's been loads of stuff written about all of us together yeah. <laughs> actually all hating each other yeah and then also about you individually as well so I thought it'd be amazing to have you on mm-hmm. so the first headline I actually found which I thought was really funny I get so many compliments and questions about my teeth I had composite bonding at the lovely tooth club they have offers on each month and you can pay month they're based all over Essex Hertfordshire and Kent. so many of the team from Towie and Love Island have been there check them out on Instagram tooth club UK and don't forget to mention Chloe 10 for an extra discount thank you to the tooth club uk for being my official sponsors of on the record with chloe b love rivals reunite strangely yeah. <laughs> yeah. so can you please explain how we made out for the people that are listening because they're going to be very confused it was at the ntas yeah it, but it yeah. was no but we had a pre-thought before we did we i like, like that you pre-planned it to be honest yeah. like, this is no but planned. do you know what that's how you know it's genuine yeah though, because like we obviously pre- we in said the car. if we saw you there we would, hug we, you. Would be, oh. we would be friendly <laughs> and hug you we don't want any animosity yeah, yeah. and it was all, almost like not a manifestation but it was like one of the things that you put out to the universe yeah, yeah. and it happened and you come walking out the door and you went <laughs> i done a little way <laughs> and I was like <laughs> Chloe, she's waved, waved. Yeah. She's waved. <laughs> and I was like usually I'd be like oh no like how yeah. are we gonna be but I was just like oh that's good and then yeah. me and you started talking and we were like oh like yeah. We're, yeah. we're cool with each other but then I just said to Demi like it was genuine because you come up to us but yeah. we had, plan- we had planned to said. come up to yeah. you so yeah. like it, it worked out really well I think so for anyone listening who don't know about Demi and Frankie I'm sure you do anyway you's Ron Towie how long was you on it for to, like, to I started with, with you which yeah. means we was, I started when I was 22 mm-hmm. so I was on there for like 4 years I yeah. reckon yeah. so if you was 4 years I would have been 3, three years. years it felt like a lifetime it did feel didn't it? like yeah. 3 years is nothing I but know. when I think back I feel like I was I feel like I've been in this industry for like 7 years yeah yeah, and I feel like haggard. Is it four or five years? So it's coming up to my fifth year now. Oh, your fifth year. Oh, yeah. So, so when did you leave? Year. Was it this year? Last no, year. two years Two years ago. Really? Was it two years ago? I went on it for just three years. Oh, so a year and a half ago. Yeah, yeah we left you. So half. obviously, Demi started before you. So what was your decision in like going on it, Frank? Because I was you. Did you always want to do it, or did you not? No, like no. I was so shy, right? I was so insecure. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. you know, like that person at the at the family party that weren't getting the pictures. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it. And like I struggled with my weight for so many years as yeah. well. So I just always was that girl that was just like in the background. And I went to uni. Yeah. And then um, I moved back to Essex, and I didn't have a job. I was yeah. skint. Yeah. And and I Chloe, think we are. We, I think we was all skim. Yeah, yeah I was skim. So <laughs> and then Chloe and Demi said to me, "Come on as a cameo." Yeah. So that's like obviously like an extra. Yeah. And I went on as a cameo, and then I think, I think within the first couple of weeks, I got myself involved in so much drama. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, drama. I'm not naming it. What's yeah. 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 so, so weird. What was that drama about? Yeah, I, don't like, know. I don't even remember. Funny it. story. <laughs> and then they turned around and they were like, we, we want to give you a two year contract. Yeah. And I was like, all right then. It was part of me that was thinking, I really hope that was a cameo. Bye, yeah. girl. <laughs> no, she stayed. I remember, <laughs> I remember when you started though, and she was so shy and you, you whispered the whole time. Oh my God, I used to whisper. <laughs> she just kept whispering. And we was and there was me like tall. starting on her. She's probably yeah. like, please leave me alone. Like, <laughs> Do you know what? It was like daunting because like I'm not a confrontational person anyway, yeah. but like I can like talk up for myself. Yeah. But it was the cameras. Yeah. Like you know, and I've never had that before in my yeah. life. And it was just like the camera crew. There's like thirty of them. Yeah. And I was like, every single one of these people were judging me. The cameras are on me. Like yeah. you're so much is running through your hair. Like, yeah. It's a massive. There's it so is. many people there. And the thing is. I think with Towie, what makes it harder is you see them people week in, week out, yeah. or actually for years. Yeah. Like, I've known the camera crew since I was like 18. Do you know mm. what I mean? So you see them all the time, and I'm sure they probably secretly.
probably judge us. <laughs> they probably, <laughs> they probably go home over dinner like, oh, yeah. Bitch. oh yeah, yeah, I can't stand her. She's so <laughs> <Yeah>. horrible. <laughs> she threw my mic on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so funny. I was even saying to my mum about like having you here. Like, isn't it weird how like being on TV, I think any show really heightens everything. Like, mm. I was even saying to my mum like, it is so normal to dislike someone mm-hmm. because they've been out with your boyfriend or your ex boyfriend. Mm-hmm. That is so normal. But like. Every article I could find that was related to me and you was literally playing two young girls off each other. 100%. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I just think, like, how did you feel in that time, like, stepping away from it and realising, like, obviously you're not on Towie anymore? Do you feel like the way you was portrayed on, on TV or any shows that you did are completely different to how you actually are? I think 100%. Because, yeah. But do you know what it is? Like, what you're saying about, like, the way that we were like just always around each other, and we was always pitted against always. each other. Like, me and Demi had a friendship before, didn't yeah. we? Obviously, we, <laughs> yeah, did. we, we had a lot of little. <laughs> oh, this is great, isn't it? I've lost my friend now. She like, had a go at me. She was like, "Chloe was my friend, <laughs> and now you've come along. We're not friends." So I was like, "I was like, <laughs> no, then I have young, young with her because I was like, that's my sister. You're meant to be my friend.' Was like, yeah. Right in the middle, but, um, but do you know what? It makes you feel like you're the only people in the world. Yeah. Like the, oh the God, twenty no. people on the cast, you're like they're the only people in the world they're yeah. the only people that matter and that's yeah. why everything's so heated yeah and like th- there's constant arguments all and the time yeah and it's, it's actually the smallest of things it like really is they're so small like even like i see olivia at atwood at a party and obviously we hated each yeah. other like, and the way we spoke to each other was vile yeah and i spoke to her like there's no problem like yeah. it's so yeah. weird how when you walk away from it yeah. you realize like the difference in like actually i don't really care about any of this at all like at the time it felt so big but then walking away like so even small. i just put on my instagram like what questions have you got for the girls and they're like how yeah. <laughs> why are they sat there yeah. like they're so do you know what by. though like some pe- some things do take time and i yeah. think like me and demi taking ourselves out of essex mm. and we went to la for like nearly a year yeah and then when we we come back into Essex I was like I've got no enemies I've got no problems with yeah. anyone anything that I'd done a year and a half ago like I'm a new me now and I yeah. don't have grudges yeah. so I'm so happy as soon as I saw you you was on the same wavelength oh I was God, like yeah, of course. let's be besties yeah. <laughs> have you seen anyone else from the cast and did you speak to oh, them we went for dinner with Harry. Danny and Harry yeah. and his new boyfriend the other day Yeah, yeah. Um, I bumped into Saffron I actually bumped into Chloe Meadows yeah. um, at an event which me and her we never really saw well they had that argument when me and you was having oh, an yeah, argument I remember that yeah. they was yeah. more than me <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I was like, like <laughs> kicking off quite randomly actually <laughs> she was going don't get involved don't I was going, whoa. Like, we're both really tall as well. Me and you were just like. That's my only ever argument I've had in like four years, by the way. This is Chloe Meadows. <laughs> We'd be both there. Um, so, yeah, so I saw her. We got along, which was really nice. And I saw Saf. And yeah, it's just like, just that. Like, it's nice seeing people like mm-hmm. from Tawi. Chloe Meadows said something nice about me as well, didn't oh, she? Oh, I bet you can't wait to throw that. No, I'm just saying. saying. What did she say? I didn't yeah, expect it. it. Um, yeah, Chloe Meadows was like, oh, make sure you say hello to Frankie for me. I always thought that she was that like, a really sweet person. And I was like, no, I was like, actually, you'll love that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's actually really so, funny because um, my mum always loved you. It's like, yeah. even when we was arguing, she'd be like, quite like them. Too. <laughs> <laughs> right now, you need to drop it in now. Like, you need to tell me how much you love them. Like, it's just <laughs> awkward. Do you know what it is though? Like, it's just like, oh, it's hard to explain, but it's whatever storyline you've got, people just think that's your whole personality. Oh my God. Yeah. Like, Do you know what I mean? It's constantly me and you getting played off each other about me. Yeah. And like, I think that is so like undermining because you're so intelligent. Like, you went to uni. You've got so much more going for you. These men, I was like, literally probably dated when I was 18. Like, people go to me, how's Harry or who? Like, yeah, I'm not who? Seeing so long <laughs> great I think it's great I don't know I, I honestly think if there was no men involved between you two you would have become best friends yeah, yeah. and oh we God, actually all got the along. trolls used to say it didn't yeah. they they used to be like why don't you just team up rather than be against each other it was quite funny because we'd always get told we look alike yeah. Yeah. I know, I like know, I know. Like, well, the boys yeah. used to go for you used to go for you and the boys used to go for you, used to go for you. <laughs> so it was like you must look a bit similar I know it's a compliment to me as well because you're way younger than oh, me oh thanks like, <laughs> I used to be like yeah she's pretty girl like, no no <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm like. I'm like, oh, yeah, she's pretty. I know, I know. But I can't stand her. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like looking at twins right now. <laughs> <looking at me. laughs> um, and also, I wanted to speak to you, Dem. So, obviously, you started, like, I think it was actually one episode before me because you come on oh, at did, the end yeah. of, like, the, the series. Of the series before you, yeah. So, when I was reading headlines about you, you was basically saying about coming to the sort of terms of your sexuality and also, like, speaking out about it. So, when I read about you, you actually said that you you didn't when did you come out well basically on Tawi. that's mad honest. ain't it why did I, you do I that i came out to my close friends and my yeah. family because i had a girlfriend when why I was don't 19. you tell her when you come out 
to the family. What, when dad sat me down? No, yeah, what, <laughs> what date was it? Oh, she <laughs> won't drop this. Tell By me. the way, I didn't plan to come out on Frankie's birthday. Oh, you ruined your birthday. You ruined your birthday. <laughs> it just happened <laughs> that like, way. It was my 21st birthday. <laughs> I come home because no. my mum was throwing me a party. Yeah. My family sat me down. She come out as gay. I thought, take me thunder today. Why yeah. can't you wait till tomorrow? I've not even blown my candles out yet. <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> I, do, I do steal the light. I'm sorry about that. But it just was like bad timing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But, oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, basically, I had a girlfriend when I was 19. And that's when, obviously, I came out when Frankie was 21. Yeah. And um, only my close friends and my family knew. And then we broke up. Um, And then when I went on to Tawi, I yeah. said it, didn't I? Yeah. And yeah, all my all my family, friends, and that they was all like, "What? Why <laughs> <I> would <laughs> you know that?" On Tawi, what made you do it so publicly? Do you think? Oh, I just thought I don't care. Yeah, I'm like I, I literally did not care anymore, and I just thought I'm so tired of having to explain to people. Oh, actually, I date girls now. You know, mm-hmm. they go, "Oh, mm-hmm. you've got a boyfriend." Yeah, you know, I date girls now, and I just thought if I say it on TV, on national TV, I think that's the way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just tell everyone. Yeah, yeah. people, everyone will know. Yeah, and I actually thought as well, I might meet someone by saying it on national TV. You never know. That is like probably the best dating app ever. People, yeah. <laughs> people see it and yeah. they DM me, don't yeah. they? Yeah. So um. So yeah, I just went for it and I just came out. Do you think it was quite hard though? Because obviously the whole time I've known you, I feel like I've always, like when we were speaking, I've always spoke to you quite openly. Oh, you chatting to anyone then? Yeah, you met yeah, any girls? You have. And I think everyone, like, I just assumed that you was really comfortable in your sexuality. Mm. But on obviously reading an article that I did, yeah. you said that it took you quite a while to sort of, not come to terms with it, but just yeah. sort of be like, oh yeah, right, I'm with girls. Do you think that made it harder for you that everyone was speaking to you about it so openly because you spoke about it on Tawi? Yeah, I mean, I still don't know where I am at uh, to this yeah. day. Like, I even say to you, don't I, like... <laughs> <laughs> she goes to me, I think I like boys as well. I'm like, <laughs> she goes, you're not, you're gay. Um, <laughs> everyone says to me, you're gay. Yeah. But I'm just like, uh, I know, like, I haven't been on a date with a boy for, like, like since since the first series of Tawi when I was with Sam. Well, that's actually what I was going to ask you about. So obviously, yeah. when I was reading these articles and you were saying like it's leaning towards more so that you can see yourself with a woman, yeah. you spoke about your sexuality. Are you single? I want to know. I'm always single. been single for three I'm years I'm always now. single. You're <laughs> always I'm single. I'm always single. You hold, the, you hold the crown for being single. <laughs> Wait, how long have you been single for? I've been single now. I would say for about a year. Oh, is that that as long as me? Oh, right, Jen. Let's well, stick it with you. Pass it on you. You hold the crown. Honey. I'll have the crown. I've got a new boyfriend now, and now I've turned Timmy. straight again. Timmy. <laughs> you don't want to be your girlfriend. My no, nose got a little pinky, that's why. So, tell us about you, Frank. Um, I'm single as well. You are? Okay. Yeah. So, I recently had, like, a really, really strong relationship. Okay. Like, I literally, everyone thought I was going to settle down. He's the one. Mm-hmm. Um, And, yeah... We just, it just doesn't work out. It just it didn't sometimes. work out. Do you feel like there's extra pressure as well when you yeah. make it public? Yeah. Like, I feel like there is. Like, you start posting about someone, everyone's like, oh my God, you're going to settle down. And then yeah. it's like telling everyone, oh, actually, I'm not with them anymore. It's just yeah, it's so up. awkward. Yeah. And like, even like, I done like, I made like a few TikToks of us and they went viral. Mm-hmm. And everyone was I in the comment. comments. <laughs> she made a picnic basket. I said, that's really nice. <laughs> like, she goes, I've just sat and watched that whole video. Yeah, I was put, like, you're probably the only she one. She some Scotch eggs in there. I thought, that's cute. It's such a boring video. but Everyone saw your TikToks though. Everyone. Like everywhere we went, people would always say, oh, I saw you on TikTok, yeah. saw your boyfriend on TikTok, didn't they? Yeah, every single person says to me, like, I'm so happy for you. Like, yeah. he's the one, like, he's amazing. And he was, like, this boy was every single thing I ever would have wanted mm-hmm. in my whole life. Everything I've prayed for in my whole life, like, yeah. would move heaven and earth for me. Mm-hmm. But it just, I just, just didn't feel right just, in my heart. Yeah, the, just, yeah. the fire just was not there, I think. You know what? It's so hard. Like, I've even had it where I've been dating people and, like, they're perfect on paper and you just can't work out what the problem is. Yeah. I hate that. Like yeah. there's nothing worse. And you start questioning, is it me? Yeah. I'm like, is it me? Am I the problem? I probably am to be fair. But, <laughs> I, <laughs> but I start questioning, but you, you can't force yourself. Yeah, I feel like I know. Is feet. there anyone that's on your radar? Anyone you fancy? Well, no, it's only been a week. And but everyone says to me, <laughs> oh, it might have been two weeks actually. Yeah. But everyone says to me, like, oh, is there anyone you fancy? Like she sent me a good looking boy on Instagram and I was just like, Oh, that's your time. No. Like I literally feel like I need to just leave it and let the universe bring someone to me because yeah, everyone yeah. I'm picking is just not right and I'm 29 next month yeah and I'm cracking on do you feel like there was in some ways a little bit of pressure to date the boys on the show because she was on the show a little bit because I never had a girl come on the show who I could date yeah and I think 
like like we was all saying, when you're on the show, it's like them twenty people that only twenty people in your life. Yeah. And like for me, there wasn't anyone for me to date. Mm. So I just and you sort of tunnel vision and they're the only people you can see. And I sort of like ended up just doing it like I think we've all dated with questionable like, people kiss. from that yeah, show. Yeah, <laughs> and I was just like I was just going through a bit of a funk at one time and yeah, you, it put stress on you because she was like watching like me and like Chloe and like you and all the other girls like have romances on the show and go mm. on dates and stuff. Yeah. And that was our storyline. And then she was sort it of struggling. Often is, isn't it? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. All storylines are based around relationships. Yeah. And I couldn't have one. Because I know they, they did, listen, they was always like fair to me, you can bring someone on, but I didn't mm. have anyone to bring on. Yeah. Mm. So I did struggle with that. Yeah. And obviously I read that you were saying that you don't feel like there was any sort of role models that you could look up to mm. that was open about being like a lesbian yeah. or bi. Mm. Do you feel like now as you've gotten older that's changed? Um, I still don't see that much lesbian bi on reality TV. I'm going to yeah. be honest. I see a lot of gay men. Mm-hmm. I do. But I don't see a lot of like lesbian girls and bisexual girls. Um. So there's still not a lot of people, I mm-hmm. think, for the people in the generations below to look up to. But I do, I think it is becoming a more popular thing now. Of course yeah. I do. I think, like, everyone's becoming so relaxed about it. Everyone's becoming, like, so open-minded. Everyone, like, I'm so thankful and grateful for coming out in the generation that we oh are Oh, my in. God, yeah. yeah. It was so mad, like, listening to what you said in the article as well, though. Like, you'd said, like, I thought people weren't going to talk to me. Like, yeah, reading I did. that, mm. I did. it baffled me because I've obviously I've got so many friends. Like, I'm friends with all the gay boys. I love a gay boy, me. And <laughs> yeah. I just think like I'm the least judgmental person yeah. in the world. Do you know what I mean? So to hear you who was saying that you was confused about your sexuality and thought no one was going to speak to you, I found that so crazy. Yeah. But also, I bet for so many people, it's really comforting. Do you yeah, get a lot of messages of from people? Oh, I get messages all the time. I literally had a paragraph like last night. Of really, the girl, like you're my inspiration. But like. I had a very smooth journey. People were accepting, but I did get the odd, you know, like the one or few few things, like when I come out, like, oh, I've got to share a room with her on holiday. You know, yeah, you've got to get home. changed yeah, in front of her. Yeah, got to get changed in front of her. And I think, because when I like girls, don't mean I like every single girl. Yeah, well. don't yeah, usually like, bounces everyone. Me, and usually, like, I like girls that are way out of my league. <laughs> like so, um, so, yeah, it was, I had a few awkward, uncomfortable moments. But to be honest, other than that, it's been quite a nice journey. And do you feel like in the media as well, like whenever you're pictured out with a girl, the press assume it's your girlfriend? Yes. Yeah. A lot of people uh, think that a lot of the girls I'm with on my stories or on my Instagram is like people that I'm dating or if mm. they're my girlfriends. And I think also girls in this industry are a little bit wary to become friends with me because if they're seen out just me and them out for a drink, people are just going to assume that they're dating me. That's, oh, that's, so that's how I feel anyway. Yeah. I might be being dramatic, but yeah. um, that is how I feel. And, yeah. you know, I'm uh, like, I have a lot of girl mates. Um, You've got more... I've got a lot of girl mates. All of Demi's mates are, like, straight girls. Yeah. You don't hang around with people that... Um, I like, have no gay girl mates. Yeah. I've got, like, one. And she really? Up north, yeah. yeah. So I hang a lot around with a lot of straight people, but I date a lot of straight people as yeah. well. I date... A lot of people in you know this what? industry. Yeah. That's, it's mad, actually, because I was saying this to my friend and when I had Janae's on, I was saying, like, Janae dates a lot of straight boys yeah. as well. And it's actually so weird because my mum was like to me, Chloe, you know what? Like, I spoke about it like it was such common knowledge, but it's actually not. Mm, like, yeah. it's not at all common knowledge that a lot of straight people date gay people. And yeah. yeah. Like, I think that it's so normal. And like, oh, yeah, I've seen so many people do that, but it's not common knowledge at all. No, it's not. So, like, but when you have dated... Uh, straight women in the past does it not make you feel like a little bit like oh, i don't want to be your secret a secret yeah yeah of course but like i i genuinely only feel like i only date straight girls don't i like mm. literally for years like mm. i don't think i've ever been on a date with a lesbian before and like i could name and list off about 10 people and you'd be shocked at who I've been yeah on a date with. It's, it's, juicy. Gossip. <laughs> it's juicy it's juicy it's juicy gossip but obviously i'm not gonna do that like, <laughs> she's like, like, like i'm not gonna do it but, yeah no pe- people that have like slid into my dms or like come up to me and i'm a bit shook i'm like yeah okay i'm shook as well because sometimes you'd be talking to someone at like an event or something and i'll be like oh how come they're not saying hello to me but they're saying hello to you and she's like oh they're asking me out or they're asking me for my number and i'm like oh that kind of hello always happens or like why oh they they didn't follow me they followed you and i'll be like yeah because loads of girls (laughs) we'll meet the girls on a night out get on with them and then the the girl will follow demi and i'll be like what 
did I do something? And she's like, no, she's like, <laughs> she, she wants to bit me. Yeah, <laughs> but it's a lot, a lot. It's every time we go out, really. Every time really? we go yeah. out. Yeah. And do you feel like you feel quite protected towards Demi Frank? Because I um, feel like I do. Like when I hear yeah. my straight friends tell me, um, my gay friends tell me stories and like, I've been dating this boy and he said, you know, like he doesn't know how he feels. But it makes me so angry because I almost feel like, there's no need for them to be a secret. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you feel the same? Like, yeah, like sometimes, like it's not fair sometimes when people like, I know everyone's on their own journey, but I suppose keeping you a secret and when you want to put things maybe online or whatever, it's not fair. But you've actually had no really terrible experiences, have it's you? It's not because I ha- I haven't been ready for a relationship with them oh, okay. either. So it's not like, it's not like I've fell in love with them and then they're like, oh, I can't be seen with you, blah, blah, blah. It's more mm. of just like I'm having fun, having a bit of a secret yeah. fling with yeah. them. Mm-hmm. So it's not that deep. Whereas if I did fall for someone and, and it got to the point then it you w- would be protected yeah. with me, yeah. you like leave them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's not got to that point yet. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's not too bad then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> should stay single. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what we should all do, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Totally stay single. On the record with Chloe B is exclusively sponsored by the Tooth Club UK. Make sure you check them out as they've got clinics all over Essex, Hertfordshire, and Ken. Check them out on Instagram, the Tooth Club UK, and don't forget to mention Clubby 10 for an extra discount. So obviously you were on Towie and then you made the decision to leave. So what do you think made you decide to leave? When did you feel like you was like, you know what, I'm gonna move on from this now? It was the money, really. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the point. Yeah. We got offered a lot of money yeah. and a really, really good deal. Deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we like I absolutely love OFTV. I, I love OnlyFans. Can you like, tell me a bit more about this as well? Because I feel like when it first came out, obviously the show amazing, like you mm-hmm. smashed it. I feel like there was like quite a lot of confusion with the OnlyFans TV yeah. and the show. Yeah. So, and I understood that it was a subscription based. Is that is that right? No. So can you no. explain to me about it then, please? Yeah. So I feel so like people are so confused as well. Just to explain as well, Demi, what Demi was saying just then, like we left because obviously the money was great, but yeah. then at the same time, like we got offered our own show just yeah, about amazing. our family, and you know, like what we were saying when you're in a cast of people, yeah, and you've argued with the same people, and then you just kind of think oh my god someone's offered me something just me and like the people that are around me all the time so we were like we've won the jackpot well, yeah. we we always said didn't we that we we will one day get our own sister show and yeah. when it came along we couldn't was, say no we couldn't no. believe it and um such a big platform as well wanted us to be their first reality tv show but they yeah. was gonna like put all this money into and make a massive thing like we was on billboards in la we was on billboards in london like mm. It was crazy yeah. wearing it for us. So we we honestly couldn't believe it. Like we honestly thought you couldn't turn that wow. down. You wow. literally could not, not turn that down. Like I remember, like we got pulled into the meeting room. Like, I cried. She was crying. Oh, yeah. was crying. It's amazing. Georgia was crying. Everyone she was didn't crying. cry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't think it was going to come true. <laughs> she I honestly, she was, yeah, I thought it was too good to come true. Yeah. I laid in bed that night and I thought. There's no way this is gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't actually believe how good this deal is. Yeah. Yeah. And but then it did happen. Yeah, and like OnlyFans, like they're so amazing. They're yeah. so normal, so nice. Yeah. They're like one of like the wealthiest like yeah. platforms at, like in the world. Mm-hmm. And they're just so lovely, aren't they? And yeah. so good to work with. But basically they've opened up like a streaming app. Mm-hmm. So they're like it's kind of like Netflix, okay, but Amazon. you don't need an account. You yeah. don't oh, need you to don't. sign up. Oh, you okay. click on the website and everything's there mm-hmm. and you watch what you want for free. Yeah. But basically they wanted to invest in their own reality TV shows. Yeah. So we're like the first one that they've done it with. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, amazing. we're just so sort good. of trying to get the word out there. Yeah. It's like how Disney bought Kardashians. Yeah. Disney fans bought House of Sims. Yeah, like that sort <laughs> of vibe. Yeah. It's a similar thing. I love that. Yeah. That's what I was going to ask as well, actually. So obviously when it, ha- when it come out about the show and stuff, um, I used were compared to the Kardashians a we lot. We did have yeah. the How did you feel about that? Like, <laughs> you know what? I, I was actually a bit embarrassed because I was like, that's so embarrassing. Because like, because we're not. Because and it was never not. your wording either, was it? Like, it was no. never used going, we are going to be it the was Kardashians. A, but sometimes like, I do use it as an example because there is no other family show out there where mm-hmm. they're all Where the cameras sisters, are like following you. And they're you. following you around. So sometimes I do just use it as an example because our show is very, like, it's similar storyline yeah, yeah. But, um, but it was actually we, like we are very different to the kardashians like, yeah. we obviously we're from essex like we're uk based like we all started well, we all started from reality tv and then got into one show yeah we, like we, it was very different yeah but i feel like it was good for clickbait it like was good. people oh, loved it and also 
there is a lot of similarities. You are a family. There's a lot of sisters. Like, mm-hmm. There's a lot of similarities. And I feel like some of the people give you a hard time. They like, oh, do. they're not oh, they the Kardashians. And I was like, I don't actually think they've ever said it themselves. Never, like, never. I feel like they just compared it. Like yeah. when I joined Howie, I remember someone posted a picture of me, uh, Kelsey and like Joey. And then it was Amy, Sam and Harry Gerber. I, I, like, I remember that. And I was yeah. like, she never said I'm like Amy yeah, in my life. I do, like I yeah. think people just pull comparison from things so they can they see do, similarities. Yeah. So I want to know about the show like obviously i'm on tower i've done it for years we all know how that show worked and in a way i would say i was actually saying to my mum on the way here i think it must be easier to do tower than doing a family-based show yeah. because there's cast members that i don't care about do you know yeah. what i mean like i can argue with so and so go home and not think twice about yeah. it these are your family members so how was it transitioning from a show full of people that really don't really care about that much apart from a select crew to your family what was the change in that it was really different. And even like, yeah. like first of all, like the way it was filmed yeah. was so different mm-hmm. because we were like just followed with cameras 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah. But on Tawi, obviously you get your two hour slot. Oh, they yeah. give you an, it sort of, they don't tell you what to say, but they give you an idea. They yeah. say, mention the party, mention who kissed who. You yeah. know, that sort of Yeah, vibe. of course. Sorry. That's and right. then, um, but yeah, with so you get like your two hour slot. You yeah. S- you know what you're saying with mm. Tawi and it's like, but then with ours, it was like um, from the minute you're brushing your teeth when you wake up to the minute you're brushing your teeth to go to bed, wasn't yeah. it? It was like, it was, even when you're eating your lunch, you had cameras there watching yeah. you. So it's a, it was very different for us. And we it? wasn't told what to talk about. No. They just wanted us to be our authentic selves. Do you think that's hard? I'd find so that a lot hard. harder. Like, yeah. we was knackered. Like, really? But I do think me and you were better on camera. 100%. Like, yeah, do you feel flowed. like you showed a completely different side to yourself? 100%. Like, so I feel like the sides you showed to yourself on Tawi, you know, we very much fall into characters even if we're not necessarily yeah. given them. Do you feel like on your show you showed a completely different side to yourself? Yeah, like on Tawi, I feel like I sort of fell into like the girl next door, sort of not not funny, not really got too much of a personality. Oh, I thought you was funny. Very vanilla. <laughs> According to the trials, very vanilla. But um, whereas like on House of Sims, like yeah. we was having a laugh, we was being silly and like people were messaging me and saying like, oh my God, you're actually fun. Yeah. And I was like, I'm yeah. actually happy you've seen that. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> but yeah, so we was definitely more ourselves. But like the actual production of it was tiring. Wasn't and as well, it? do you yeah, not find it hard? Like you know, your family's big, but it's not massive. Do you not find it hard just communicating between yous all the time? Like yeah. you know, Tawi, there's quite a lot of people to converse with. Do you yeah. not find it quite hard? In Tawi, there's a lot of people to grab storylines from. Where yeah, like, we had to make the storylines between like five yeah. of us. Um, yeah, for like for like hours and hours and hours a day for like six weeks filming mm-hmm. like yeah. seven hours a day. We yeah. had to create storylines every single day. So it was like it was a lot of work. Um, but it was, it's like once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, yeah, of course. And we literally put like we everything put we everything had, we had into, into it. We thought we've got to make this work. Like yeah. We've really got to go through yeah, it. Yeah, and it is working, it. isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's doing amazing for yeah. what you're yeah. telling we've me. We've got four series signed. That is so, amazing. Yeah. And so you know your audience, is it yeah. American based audience yeah. as well as English? It's, it's Well, it's worldwide, but at the moment I think it's, it's American, American and Mexican. Yeah. And amazing. then English as well. Yeah, but oh my that God. leads me on to the app. Only yeah, fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So can you tell us about that as well? Because I think when it come out about OnlyFans, everyone assumed that yous were becoming OnlyFans creators. So yeah. what happened with that and how did that come about? So because we were on the streaming app, yeah. obviously we had to get the app as well yeah. for subscribers because they w- would be able to like communicate with us yeah. and like watch the show and then send us a yeah. message on there. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we do that now, and like I love it. Yeah. I've always wanted to do OnlyFans. Oh my and god, the stuff I've now seen we're about doing OnlyFans. It. I'm like, girls, you. Are <laughs> I thought I wanted to do it. <laughs> yeah, it is a money making app. It yeah, really is. It like is. you can. It, it it really is about how much effort you put into it, though. If you're not going to put that much effort into it, you're not going to make money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you're going to put loads of effort into it, you can make bundles in mm-hmm. there. Do you feel like there's an unnecessarily an unnessary stigma attached to the app? 100%. Yeah. And do you know what I say? Like, on my Instagram, I don't upload any lingerie or bikini pics. Mm-hmm. I put them on my OnlyFans. Yeah. And I see girls on Instagram putting it on Instagram for free. Yeah, and I'm like, like photos, you could earn yeah, money on you. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that. She's like, make money. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> Chris Jenner over here, <laughs> like, <laughs> mama jar. Like, why are you putting that on Instagram where yeah. you can get money for it on OnlyFans? Like, yeah. men will pay for it. Yeah. So obviously with the show, you've moved to LA. What was the move back to LA? I want to know all about it. So we we were really excited to move to LA. Obviously, we just got this amazing deal. Like it was going to be filmed in LA. Like we was buzzing, weren't we? Fresh start, new beginnings. 
We got out there, but me, you know what me and Frankie, we're just homebodies. We? We're, <laughs> I'm, we're the same. I'm the same, though, to be honest. I love a holiday, but I yeah. think rerouting your whole life's completely oh, different. It's the same with us. That's what happened with us. Yeah. So at the moment, we're just being the best of both worlds. We've moved back to the UK, just me and Frankie, the others have stayed out there. Mm-hmm. And we film over there for six weeks at a time. But So for us, it's like... We have the best of both yeah. worlds, yeah. don't we? So, yeah. but, um, but it just didn't feel like home. No. We missed our mum and dad so yeah. much yeah. as well. Like, we liked it out there, but we, yeah. also we didn't have a routine. Yeah. Because we were, like, so far from home. We didn't really know anyone. Mm-hmm. And, like, you'd get up in the morning, you'd be like... When we're not filming, you'd be a bit yeah. like, right, and what, what do, do I do? I didn't yeah. even know what street I was walking down. <laughs> I was like, oh, go street. But, um, but no, it is nice over there. The weather's lovely. Like, it is bougie. It's fun. There's always things to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I just love my place in Essex. Do you think there'll ever be, like, a time where you could film House of Sims in England? Or is Maybe. it restricted to Yeah, we're Maybe. hoping for that. Because, like, it is reality. And, like, the reality is that me and Demi have moved back to England. Mm-hmm. And, like, we've both got our own places. And, like... We would want to show that, so yeah. we're hoping next series they do show that. Maybe, yeah. 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 Was there a part of you like I don't know if you did you feel disappointed that you was moving back to England or was you happy to go back? Because my friend, basically, the reason I asked this, my friend has just moved to Australia and she was like, "What if I come back after a couple of months? I'll feel embarrassed." Like, how did you feel about coming <laughs> no, back? No, I don't feel embarrassed. A lot of people when I go to like events and stuff, are like, "Oh, I thought you lived in LA." But yeah, um, it's like a little bit sly diggy sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I thought, I thought you lived, you in, lived LA. in LA. Yeah, but like the truth is, we can if we want to. Like, yeah, we have we have like visas. Yeah, we've got there free visas. You know, yeah. but we just. We are. We just love Essex, don't we? Yeah. yeah. I never thought I would be that person to be like, I just love Essex. And my mum says that to me. She but goes, no, I, just get life. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like so safe and content I here. Know, yeah. And I we know. sit around my mum and dad's like every night, and yeah. like we go around there for dinner, and like we're just all really close. Yeah. And I just don't think we can be here. So you know, I read something about you, Frank. So it was saying that you was trying out different jobs while you was yeah. in LA. Yeah. <laughs> so do you feel like there's a pressure from coming off TV to then returning to normal work? I feel like there's yeah. such a pressure about that. And it felt like in the article, like there was being supportive, but it was also like her normal job, and I was confused by it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So what made you want to try different jobs? Because I was like, we mo- where we moved to LA, yeah. and then we obviously did the series, and then we were just living there. So yeah. I was thinking, hold on, I need to think of something I can do out here yeah. like because Demi Demi's like very individual she's yeah. got her th- own thing yeah like she does do. boxing I'm, I'm very on my own I will, I will leave Frankie all day and just do my own thing yeah <laughs> like she'll do <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> not even what I was saying oh, sorry. <laughs> she does boxing she does fashion like she's got all that going on yeah. she's really good on social media see I'm useless like yeah. I literally don't know what I'm good at I'm literally good at nothing so I was like trying out all different jobs trying to see what I'm good at and like you know like find a passion for something but I yeah. couldn't find it I've got no passion that's like me. <laughs> I've got Timmy yeah, yeah. Yeah. my passion is being a dog passion is being a dog mum. Yeah. I, I've honestly, I've got no talent. My mum said to me, Chloe, I've never met a child who's got no talent. I took you <laughs> absolutely everywhere. Shouldn't I took you to gymnastics, dance class. You can't do anything. That's you can't like sing, me. you can't dance. <laughs> so it's all right. It don't matter. I don't need you, your talent. Do you know what? You can talk. I can yeah. talk. Exactly. That's why I started this. Yeah. <laughs> um, so obviously, since leaving TOWIE and stuff, Obviously, a lot of your viewers did follow you from TOWIE to OnlyFans TV. Do you feel like, because you left TOWIE quite abruptly, you didn't have a goodbye scene, do you feel like if there was something you could tell the viewers about yourself and just say something like, I'm not that person, what would you tell them like about yourself that they don't know, a TOWIE viewer? No, really. No. I think, like, the viewers didn't actually realise that me and Demi actually did get on with everyone. Yeah. And we were, like, very easy to get on with. We're very much, like, a little duo. So, like, if yeah. one of us is best friends with someone, the other one's best friends with them. Yeah. But, like, at the same time, we were so protective over each other. Of course, it actually would be that. Yeah. Like, and I think it makes it hard, though, because it's, like, you see, if you had, like, a row with someone, it's just you. Yeah. But if I had a row with someone, it w- Demi would be defensive over me. me. Yeah, yeah, of course. And, it, like, vice versa. Mm. So I feel like people kind of thought that we was, like, gangy up here a little bit. Yeah. But that wasn't the case. It was just because we're sisters. And as well, like, it's so hard, like I was saying to my mum, like, it's so normal to dislike somebody, but for valid reasons. Yeah. But yeah. it's so heightened because of TV. Like, yeah. Could you ever see yourself returning to, like, UK TV? Like, not just TOWIE, like, obviously yeah. you've done Celebs Go yeah. yeah. Do you think you could see yourself returning yeah, to that? Yeah, of course we could. Yeah. Like, we love doing reality TV. Is that yeah. what we do? So, yeah. Honestly, I feel like if we did return to UK TV now, like, after what we've learned out in 
in LA mm -hmm. and like just being way more comfortable in front of the camera and like kind of finding who we are. Yeah. I feel like the public would see a completely different side of us. Yeah, 100%. And I think we're a little bit older now as well. We've got yeah. a little bit more confidence. I think everyone, like, everyone exactly. else has grown up so much we're now. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, it's yeah. actually weird. Like I was even saying to my mum, it's so nice to be able to do this. Like yeah. we was all really young. Yeah. We was all really emotional. Like yeah. there was a lot going on. And I just think now it's so nice to see like how different things would mm -hmm. be. Yeah. Maybe an Atari return, you never oh. know. You never know. Keep everyone. Your eyes killed, everyone. everyone. So obviously, since you've left Atari, I feel like you've done so much. I feel like you're honestly thriving. You started up the clothing brand, Dan. Mm -hmm. Can you just tell us a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, so I was actually working on this clothing brand in lockdown, mm -hmm. but because it was so hard to like ship clothes in from like other countries like where they're made mm. into the UK I ended up going for like a UK manufacturer and it just took a lot longer than what it was yeah. meant to um but I ended up bringing it out and I was absolutely over the moon with it mm -hmm. um and then when we moved to LA I think I got a little bit sidetracked and I was we were so busy with mm -hmm. like just filming work mm -hmm. going to events I sort of just like like had so much going on but I've picked it back up again now yeah. and I've started like really working on it that's so good is yeah. there any other projects you have going on that like you are wanting to do or any ideas or anything we've got something in the pipeline we have <laughs> got something you know what we've got something coming up but we're not allowed to say that's what okay. it is yeah, yeah. Okay. we're gonna actually release it in a couple the, of weeks yeah. time yeah, yeah. Okay. in about yeah. two weeks that time so we'll be exciting. releasing it yeah so yeah we're doing it just us two as well like we're like no like well, managing it ourselves. Yeah. So we're kind of just taking our time with it because we want it to be perfect. Oh my God, I'm really excited. Yeah, yeah it's really cool though. It's yeah. a really cool You know what I was idea. thinking as well? Like, I, was, I feel like this is so relevant. Like, I feel like it's such a common misconception that like people from Essex are like quite thick. Yeah. And then I feel like whenever I get people on here, like it's actually so obvious that we're not at all. Like, yeah. Do you know what it is with Essex people? You might not have any common sense, but you've got, you're really good at business. Always yeah. really good at business. Mm -hmm. like, good at business. Like how young are you? And you just listed off all these amazing things you Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So when you was, I was speaking to you earlier and you were saying if you was to return to Tawi and obviously I know I'm not teasing that but you said that you've learned a lot from being in LA and I feel like we always end on something like quite inspirational. What would you say the things you've learned about yourself since the last time we sat in the room together and we was all arguing? How would you say you've both grown as people <laughs> since then? I would say like personally on my personal journey like I don't want to reveal too much but this season of House of Sims is going to be so unexpected mm -hmm. like what you, what everyone's going to see they're going to be so shocked mm -hmm. but like so this won't make sense to anyone now but once they've watched the series I think what I've learned is to create boundaries okay. and not let people overstep the boundary mm -hmm. because I'm always so easy going I'm like a yes man I'm like mm -hmm. yeah 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 I just want to make everyone happy all the time mm -hmm. and my boundaries have been overstepped so many times and I've just let it go. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, do you know what? I'm a whole new woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm strong. I, if if you're going to be, if you're going to treat me in a way that I wouldn't treat you, then I won't have you in my life. Mm -hmm. And like, that's my, that's my resolution, I think. Yeah, I would say same, really. I think we've both been on the same path this past year with like, with that kind of thing don't you think yeah that? and I think um as well just like having your own opinions and making sure you say them mm -hmm. yeah and just like being your own person having your own backbone you know I was saying to Frankie the other day like this life really is your own life like oh, this is course, your yeah. own life it's not anyone else's life mm -hmm. like you're the main character in your life and mm -hmm. everyone else is just people around you so make sure you live that life for yourself and not for other people because yeah. I think that's the mistake that I've always made my whole mm -hmm. life I always do what everyone else wants I always am pleasing people and I th I'm getting older now and I'm thinking actually I need to start doing things that I want to do yeah, yeah. I think that like piece of advice as well like you're the main character in your life that's what really helped me with my breakup because I was like devastated and I was thinking have I done the right thing and then when she said that I thought yeah I'm the main character yeah, whatever I want to do I'm going to do you can't it's as well for relationships I'm saying to Frankie you can't just settle for someone because they're a nice no, person no and also because like my mum she's the worst she always hates my ex-boyfriends so I'll start dating someone and she'll go this seems nice and I think I can't be with someone for you yeah. do you know what I mean like, yeah, I can't be yeah. with someone because you approve yeah, like I yeah. need to find someone that I approve from and I think that applies to all aspects of your life like of you can't do stuff just to please people mm -hmm. you need to just take control of yourself exactly yeah. and also like you put one life you want to fall in love and marry someone who's going to 
have that spark with you every single day of your one life. Yeah, well, you know what? So you've heard it here first. You need to watch the new series of yeah. House of Sims because oh, I want to watch it now. I want to know what's happened. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Honestly, thank you so much, girls, for coming on here. Like, I'm really, really grateful. It's actually funny. When I see you at the um, NTAs, I thought, I'd really like them on my podcast. <laughs> I thought, am I taking the piss by us? Did you ask us that night? I don't know. Probably. I probably, probably said, come you on. <laughs> but honestly, thank you for being so honest and open and coming on here. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm just, you know what I'm going to say? I'm really grateful that we put all the past behind us as yeah, well. Because us too. it's so nice to just be able to be around each other and plan nights out as well. Yeah. Because, you know, we're on the hunt. We're going to meet someone. <laughs> we're going to meet someone sexy. Please don't meet the same person this <laughs> time. <laughs> It's getting frustrating for me. No, no, we need to make a pact. Oh, yeah, no, we're making a pact. It needs to be like a safe word. If you both start with the same person, it needs to be a safe word. No, I think my pact changed anyway. I think we're all right. (laughs) You know what she's saying that to me? She's saying, you won't fancy my new boyfriend. I I can't say, no, I don't, because that's rude. And I can't say, no, I do, because that's also rude. So I was like, no, I don't think I will. I don't know what to say. (laughs) Oh, thank you so much, girls. That has been On The Record with Chloe. Thank you to the Tooth Club UK for sponsoring this episode of On The Record with Chloe B. With thanks to Blank Box Studio for their amazing podcast space. Please comment underneath who you would like to be our next guest and make sure you catch our next episode on Apple Podcasts, Spotify and YouTube.